Hey everyone, so in today's video we are going to be talking about January favorites and my January favorites I guess, not necessarily January favorites in general, but um, my goal this year is to post um, the favorites of the month every last Friday of the month. I feel like I just said month a lot, but so um, the last Friday of this month is Friday, January 27th or something like that whatever the whatever the Friday is the last Friday of every month is when I'm going to be posting um, my favorite videos um, and yeah that's about it so let's get started so the first bit product I'm going to be talking about is two Avon products and if you're not familiar with Avon um, it is um, I know there's Avon Canada and I believe there's Avon in the States if there's Avon around the world too um, let me you know no I'm not sure um, but I'm part of Avon Canada and I'm an Avon representative and so what you do is you just go online if you are looking for an Avon representative and they will um, let you know of the representative in your area or representatives um, and you just order from them they give you a catalog or you can view their online or view the, unlo the online catalog and you there's like codes with the pictures so you just let them know the code how many you want things like that and they will order it for you and whether you pick it up at their house or they deliver it to you whoops or you meet them somewhere and somehow you will get the product and then you just pay them so my favorite product of like all time from Avon is their footworks Avon healthy craft heel cream and it just looks like this it is amazing if you have really bad cracked feet I definitely recommend trying this I've tried multiple products and like I keep going back to this product because it's the only thing that work works um, I've seen it retailed for like ten dollars but then I've also seen it on sale multiple times for like two dollars um, so it just depends whoops <laughs> so it just depends um, when's it when it is on sale um, I usually like to stock up when it's like on sale for two bucks I'll buy like five at a time um, I try to put this on and then just throw on a pair of socks afterwards. I don't always use this, but um, it's really awesome for cracked feet. I still, um, I still suggest you go to a salon and get all the dead skin removed from your feet before starting this. Like I think you should start fresh. Um, but this is an amazing product to like help your feet um, just stay really moisturized and smooth. And yeah, I mean obviously everybody has like different um, intensity, different levels of like cracked feet. Um, like mine aren't horrible they're just average average feet um, and this product seems to do the trick so yeah that is that and then the second product I'm gonna be talking about is their lipstick and this is in the color mad for mauve and it just looks like this and it's just a, such a pretty color um, as you can see I have used a fair amount of it and I just I think it's such a pretty color and I think it looks really good on my skin tone and yeah I use it a lot I also pair it with their lip liner um, and yeah I just think it's a really pretty color so the next beauty product I'm going to be talking about is the shampoo and hair conditioner that I use and it is by Biolage, Bi 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 I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, um, but Matrix, Matrix Biolage, I'm not sure, um, but it just looks like this and it is pretty expensive, it's about $25 um, a bottle each um, from Shoppers Drug Mart, I've also seen it at Remax. Um, and this is the one for dry hair. It doesn't necessarily say for curly hair, it just says for dry hair, but I have curly hair and I just feel like it makes my curls look perfect. I feel like all my curls look the same. It's amazing. I don't really use any other product in my hair. I just like shampoo, conditioner, leave it and let it air dry and it just it looks amazing and I love it. I love that I don't have to do too much work with it. So if you have curly hair, I definitely recommend trying this out or maybe if you just have dry hair in general. Um, but I definitely recommend these two products. And the last product I'm going to be talking about is a definitely a high-end product. It's by Benefit and is their Gimme Brow um, Benefits. Well, that's their company, Benefit Gimme Brow. And it's just like a brow gel that has color to it. I have the lightest shade. And you just brush it through your eyebrows and it just um, kind of gives them, uh, fills them in and shapes them as well. It is uh, pretty expensive. I believe this ranges for like the high 20s and low 30s I believe um, but it's an amazing product I love it I think my brows still look good at the end of the day and it's just it's so easy you just boop boop just like that and then you're done so that is that and then for my tone it up product of the month I don't have a ton I just have really one and that is the backpack that I got in their bundle I think it is amazing it holds all my gym stuff um, this is like the new backpack that I use and I also love that it has the um, the headphone 
cord spot, whatever you want to call it, so that if I want to listen to my headphones and then throw my iPod or whatever in here, I can do that. So yeah, that is my toned up favorite for the month. And then for um, food, I just have one product, or no, two products, sorry. And they're both products I purchased at Costco, which I will be doing a Costco haul. So you'll be seeing that in the near future. And I just picked up some Kashi cereal because I'm obsessed with Kashi. I love it. Um, this one is their, oh, that's French. Uh, organic Pro Promise Berry Fruitful. And I just, I love it. I think Kashi cereal tastes amazing. And I usually will pour it in a bowl with some almond milk. And that will be my breakfast with, oh, and with some fruit. So, yeah, that is that. And then the other favorite of mine is this um, Red Group Grapefruit. And it is by the brand Kirkland, which is like, I feel like Costco's brand. Like that's, you'll, you'll never, you'll never go into a different store and find Kirkland products. Like it is only sold at Costco. And I just got these like, pre-made grapefruit cups. I love that they are um, spill proof. You can just grab them and go. And if you're doing the seven day slim down, I know this is one of the options or it has been before for your meal too is grapefruit. So that's kind of cool. And I love, like I love like, it's just to go and it's leak proof. I know I already said that, but um, my husband's a picky eater. He, when it comes to fruit, he likes his berries and he likes his citrus. And I just love that I can just throw it in his lunch. We were putting, or we, I was putting frozen fruit in his lunch, um, like frozen berries, but I found it was leaking in the container, like leaking out of the container. So if you know of like little small containers that are leak proof that I can purchase, let me know because I would love to do that again. I think that's a great idea, but it was just, the juice was getting everywhere and it was just a pain in the butt. So I like that I can just put this in his lunch and I don't have to worry about it spilling. The last favorites that I'm going to be talking about are my random favorites. And I have two, I don't have a lot, um, and that is my agenda that I've been using this year. Um, I've been using it for the month of January so far, I know it's only one month and it's the beginning of the month. Um, but I just, I love it, I use it all the time, I'm constantly writing in it and I feel like that's really good for me because I used to never not do this for this long, like all month I've been doing it and I feel like usually I start, I would have started slacking by now so I feel like this is very promising because I love agendas, but I find I just eventually stop using them, but not this guy. I have been using her all the time. And my last pr product um, of the month, my favorite product of the month, are these slippers that I got for Christmas. I think they're so cute. I love that they have soles in the bottom. I just washed them because they were getting pretty dirty. Um, and they just, they have a thick bottom. Um, and I just, I like that about my slippers. I like when they have a thick bottom. I wear slippers all the time, even in the summertime. I'm not really a sock person. Um, and yeah. These, these are my slippers. I believe they're from Ardeen's, um, but I got them for Christmas, so I'm not 100% sure. So that is that. And I thought I would kind of share with you the book that I'm reading for of the month. I'm trying to get myself a book to read and finish the entire month, the exception with the Bible, because that is not going to take me a month. That is going to take me like the whole year. I've given myself a whole year. Um, so for January, January, May, and December, I did not give myself book book goals to read just because those are busy months for me, and I have a lot of birthdays and just things going on, and I just, I know it's not something I can accomplish, I'm not even going to bother trying, because it's just, it's going to be so hard, I'll just get stressed out, because I know I can't complete the goal. So, um, but one of the things I'm trying to read for the year is the New Testament Bible. Um, I'm just, I'm, I've never actually read the whole Bible, and my husband did it last year, and I really want to try um, reading it the whole thing through I've even got like my binder set up and I've put different tabs I'm not sure if I put that in my organized video but I sent different like I put different tabs so like mark proverbs things like that and then I've just kind of been um, jotting down notes that I think are important now I'm gonna go back because I feel like which kind of means I'm starting over again but just kind of skim through and write down where I found the message in the Bible just because I think that's important too I wasn't doing that then that way I can refine it back in the Bible when I want to like double check on something so that is the current book that I'm reading and then the current show that I'm watching besides Bones and The Bachelor I'm watching Bones season the final season which is so sad to think that it's almost done and I've been watching um, um, the Bachelor, of course, because, you know, I can't not watch that. I've watched it, like, every year. Uh, but besides those two shows, um, the show I'm watching on Netflix right now is Pretty Little Liars. And I am on... I don't know if it's going to tell me. I am on episode 7 of season 6. So, that is what I'm on right now. That is what I'm watching on Netflix. And then I thought I would share with you um, my music 
what I've been listening to this month for music. So I thought I would do that every month with music, TV show, and book. Because um, it might not be a favorite, but I think it's still kind of cool to, like, you know, tell you about it. And the songs I've kind of been listening to, I don't really have to show you, but um, Ed Sheeran's new album, I pre-ordered it, so I've been listening to his two latest songs. I've also been really into Shawn Mendes' latest album. I, or, uh, like, I bought it months ago, but I've been really into a few of his new songs, like um, Mercy and um, uh, Patience. That's a really good one in Treat, Treat You Better, but mostly, like, I feel like Patience and Mercy are, like, two of the newer ones. I mean, everybody sort of treat you better, um, but I love it. I love those songs, and I've also been listening to... Um, I think it's called Della. I should try and find it. Um, but it is by... Do you remember? I should go to Recently Added. This is perfect. So, the two songs... This is Sorry, I just want to tell you um, the two songs I've been listening to from Ed Sheeran's new album, which is Castle on the Hill and Shape of You. And then the song is Della, and it's by Johnny Clegg and Savuka, I think, in My African Dream, that album. Um, and if you've ever watched George of the Jungle, this is the song they play. I'll play, like, just a snippet. Whoop. So, yeah. I don't want to play too much because I feel like there's some copywriting involved. Um, but that has definitely been a favorite of mine. I just, it's one of those songs that like, makes you feel good. And um, it's definitely an old song. Like, I b believe George of the Jungle came out in like, the 90s. Um, but it's just always been a favorite of mine. And um, Play That Song by Train has also been a favorite of mine for the month. Uh, I Don't Want to Live Forever by Taylor Swift and Zane. And this is also one of my like calming songs I like to listen to at bedtime. If I can't fall asleep or just to relax too. And it is, um, it is from the movie Twilight. So I'll play this song. So yeah, those are the songs I've been listening to um, and my favorites of the month. Well, the songs are obviously. Um, but books and TV, it's kind of hard to, like, say if they've been a favorite because I've just been watching them doesn't mean, like, they're a favorite. Like, I love Pretty Little Liars. Um, but it's hard to say, like, if it's my favorite show I've been watching this month when it's pretty much the only show I've been watching this month um, that's newer. I mean, I love Bones. There's a reason why I'm watching it. It's the final season and um, The Bachelor. Um, it's kind of hard to, like, say I love this season, right, when every season's different or that this is my favorite season. Um... Because every season is different, everything, you know, every one is unique in its own way. Um, but yeah, that is everything for this month. I hope you enjoyed my favorites video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!